Shohei Otani and his team and his lawyer's goal is to show that they didn't pay the bookies. That that's that's it. That's all he needs to do is he wants to show that. What baseball is worried about is any kind of attachment to Shohei Otani's buddy interpreter and somehow using the funds through Otani, whether he knew or not, uh, an illegal bookmaker. But this is where I keep coming back to trying to figure this out. Craig Carton, who is a TV host on Fox Sports 1 and a recovering gambler, went to prison for that. And he talked about, as a gambler, and if you really get deep into gambling, you know, you're, you are irrational. And this is why I always go back to Pete Rose. When you're losing money, where can I probably make that up where I can get inside information? where I know this better than I do the other sports. Now, Pete bet on everything. But, you know, as far as Shohei's interpreter, we're finding out that he bet on soccer, he bet on the NFL, but he didn't bet on baseball. But if you were trying to get your money back, win your money back, and Craig Carton talked about this, you're irrational. You're going to do whatever it takes to try to get that money back. You don't go, well, I'm going to draw a line here. I would never bet on baseball you're irrational. You're already four and a half million dollars down. At least that's where I get nervous if I'm Major League Baseball. Because having had that feeling, and I was never down a lot of money, I was down a thousand dollars and I didn't have a thousand dollars. And I remember that feeling. And then all of a sudden, you're just doing the math and you go, gosh, if I bet a thousand, let me bet a thousand on this game and try to cover that bet. And then if you lose that bet, now I lose the VIG. Now I'm down 1100 Now I'm down $2,100. Now you start to get nervous. Well, if you have inside information available to you, or you can ask about it, what about this pitcher? Hey, the Angels, uh, when he was, you know, this is last year. When you're with the Angels, you're playing in games nobody cares about. But you might, and it's an illegal bookmaker, which that I don't understand you could bet through DraftKings, which he did. I don't know if you can bet as much as he wanted to, but if you're going into his books and you had access to this and you can cover these bets, they just need to get their story straight because right now there's three different versions of this. But you can't go in and be naive and go, there is no way. Anybody, if you've been around an alcoholic, a drug addict, a, a gambler, their, part of their job is to hide it from you. They're really, really good. Or sometimes they think they're really good. Like, you're, you don't even know this is happening. You know? Your, your dad's sneaking liquor in the pantry. Well, we knew it. We saw the bottle of Kessler's up there. Or somebody who was, you know, quitting smoking. And then you could smell it on their... Like, they think they're hiding. And sometimes they do a really good job. That's why I think we would be naive to go, well, Otani would have to know about this. That's not, the, that's not necessarily the case. But I do think those questions have to be asked of, was there any inside information? Maybe Otani's giving information, didn't even know what was going on with this. Did he know that his friend had a gambling problem? So there's a little bit more to this, maybe a lot more to this, hopefully not. But they're flying back from uh, Korea. Now you go to spring training, and then you restart the season next week. Crazy. And does Otani get out in front of this and speak? Got to get a new interpreter, but do you get out in front of this? And what do you say? Does anybody get you know an exclusive with the interpreter again? ESPN had it. Is there any follow-up here? Because it feels like there's some holes in this story. Quite a few. Yeah, Paulie. And like you said, uh, the interpreter may not have bet on baseball, but he wouldn't have to. With an illegal gambler, he could say, uh, how much do I owe? I owe you blank. Cool. Can I provide you information to cut down on my tab? Sure, the bookmakers would love to have inside information on baseball. A pitcher is out for the Angels next week, blah, blah, blah. You start resetting your lines. That's what they want. They want information as much as they want your money. Yeah, Seaton. It's not the craziest thought in the world, though, to me at least, that Shohei Otani's angle on this makes sense. That they're, you know, yeah, investigating somebody stealing his money. Yeah. And that it could be somebody who's very close to him 
uh, that would have access to it that then maybe lied to journalists to say like, oh, no, 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 yeah, he is just covering my gambling bets, trying to get away with something that they're in way too deep on and maybe desperate. I, I totally understand how Shohei Otani could have absolutely no idea what was going on here. And it does appear to him that somebody stole his money. Yeah, and that's why I said yesterday, we have to be fair to the situation. You know, we, we want to run with this. Oh, you know, you should be treated like Pete Rowe. You've got to suspend it. Now, let's get all of the information here. Let's just be fair to the situation. And this has nothing to do with Pete Rose, okay? But people want to bring Pete into this. Pete's not involved in this. Should not be involved in this. Yes, he It doesn't have anything to do with legalized gambling either. No. But this is, this is offshore or illegal bookmaking. Uh we're going to find out there'll, there'll be more. It's just, I don't know what direction this is going in. Yes. Eden. People do crazy things. Yes. People do create people, blackmail family members, uh, you know, when they're up to their eyes in debt and lies, you know, people do crazy things. Then absolutely the idea that somebody could do a 90 minute interview and tell lots of lies in that and be like, Oh yeah, no, no, no. My guy knew all about it. Absolutely. He's the one that signed off on it, not realizing that he's really just making something infinitely worse. Yes, that's what I don't understand. If you want to protect your guy, then you didn't do a very good job of protecting your guy. Who's that? Who, which guy are we referring Otani to? Otani wasn't protected by his interpreter. No. Yes. No. I, I don't think that his interpreter was trying to protect him. Hmm. I think his interpreter was trying to protect himself. Yeah, maybe. Because he stole a bunch of money and had to say like, oh, no, no, no. These transfers that you're talking about, he knew all about them. I didn't steal that money that you're referring to. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on whatever might emerge out of this. The LA Times done a wonderful job with this. But uh, as it stands now, and baseball is just monitoring this because it's a criminal investigation.